What's up everybody? Guys, you need to check out Big Sur once in your life. It is a beautiful section of the Pacific Coast Highway between San Simeon and Carmel. And there are lots of stops and things to do, so let's get into it. Here are the places you need to check out in Big Sur. The first on our list is Medway Falls. It is a true showstopper, especially at sunset, as the 80-foot waterfall cascades onto the beach from a rugged cliff. Not only is it rare to see something like this in California, it is also quite easy to get to the viewpoint. You can just walk there via the Medway Falls Overlook Trail, and it is relatively flat. If you want the best experience, go during sunset. Next, check out the iconic Bixby Creek Bridge. It is a masterpiece that stands out as a historical engineering feat and a gateway to Big Sur's coastal wonders if you're coming from Northern California. It is a concrete bridge that was built in the 1930s and is one of the tallest of its kind. If you're looking to take the classic Big Sur photo, you shouldn't miss a shot of Bixby Creek Bridge. However, parking can be tricky here as there are limited spots, so do include buffer time or backup plans if you're visiting during the weekend. If you're more adventurous, I would suggest a coastal hike to Partington Cove and it is really a hidden gem. The trailhead starts from the roadside and there are spaces to park along the road nearby. At first, it doesn't look like you're going to reach anything impressive, but just keep going because you're going to be pleasantly surprised. You can also sit at the rocks and enjoy a picnic or continue back onto the trail to see Partington Cove. One part of the trail is a path that leads you through the trees and a tunnel, which finally opens up to a secluded cove with beautiful turquoise water. As you walk along the side, you'll find a bench at the end of the trail where you can sit and admire the view. Next, you can also visit the Henry Miller Memorial Library. Henry Miller was an American writer who was famous for his controversial works which defied the norms of his time. Discover the rugged beauty of Garapata State Park which offers dramatic landscapes and coastal trails for you to explore. It just makes you feel so in awe of the expanse of the ocean. My favourite thing to do here is to hike the Sobereins Point Trail. If you can make it for sunset, this is an absolutely stunning viewpoint where you can see both the road and the ocean. We even saw a couple getting engaged here during a sunset. After all the exploration, you might want to treat yourself with a meal. Nepente is one of the restaurants with a great view because they're perched on a cliff and it's really a favourite for cocktails at sunset. If you're looking for casual breakfast, maybe you could also check out Big Sur Bakery. If you're just thinking of having brunch, you could check out Coast Big Sur, which also has an outdoor top deck that has ocean views. So in terms of where to stay in Big Sur, I recommend camping. But there are also other hotels that you can check out, including um, Big Sur Campground and Cabins for those who are a little bit more budget conscious. There's also Tree Bones Resort, which is a mid-range and very novel kind of accommodation option that's further down the south of Big Sur. And if you are looking for the ultimate luxurious experience, maybe for a special event, check out Alila Ventana Big Sur. If you want to camp in Big Sur, I recommend Ventana Campground. It is a private site that I've camped at twice, and each time I'm always surprised by how serene and beautiful it is to be sleeping under the redwoods. I've also written some blog posts about Big Sur, including an itinerary, a guide on where to stay, and what are the best things you can do when you visit Big Sur. So I'll link it down in the description, so do check them out. 